Hello, happy Monday, and welcome to another edition of my Make It Monday, where each week I am here live on uh, Facebook um, and replayed later at, on YouTube. Um, I'm here to share with you some simple projects and hopes to inspire you to do something creative as well this week. Can you believe it? It's almost the end of November and Christmas is just around the corner. Time just flies. Um, this week is Thanksgiving. So for those of you in the North America, um, the United States, I may I be the first to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. I am totally grateful, so grateful for your presence, whether you're watching me live or on replay. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what are you doing for Thanksgiving? Um, are you a turkey person or a ham person? I'm actually a ham person, so I love eating ham. But anyway, I'll take either. Anyway, so hope you guys have a great Happy Thanksgiving, and um, before you know it, we're straight into the holidays. Wow. But anyway, so today I have three fun projects that I wanted to share with you, and they all come from the Snowy Wonder um, bundle that is in the uh, holiday catalog. It's just a fun little set with dies and coordinating papers, so it just makes holiday crafting so much easier when you've got everything there and the coordination um, just makes it so easy. So um, let me see what else was I going to say. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so remember, uh, when you purchase um, $50 or more through my online um, link that I have in the description box below, you will receive a supplies packet that you can use to replicate today's projects. Um, of course, I won't be able to stamp any of the images for you, so feel free to substitute whatever you have, or maybe you can purchase this bundle. Anyway, so that will be sent to you um, when you purchase $50 or more. And before I forget, don't forget the turkey trot. This is the last week for the turkey trot, and so... Um, with every $50 you order, you're put in the drawing um, for one of the prizes. And the grand prize is a kit of your choice. So that is awesome, isn't it? Anyway, so place your order through the link below and uh, get in the running for this top turkey annual turkey trot um, promotion. Yep. Okay. So without further ado, let me switch the camera around and let's get crafting. Let's see where is this okay there it is okay here we go so don't forget about the turkey trot it's actually a lot of fun i mean nobody loses i mean if as long as you're the first five you're guaranteed to win one of these prizes so nothing to lose i'm sure you will need something i mean purchase gifts for your crafty friends right okay so that's that okay so oops sorry for the about the glare so the snowy wonder is a set with stamps and also dies and they have um, a lovely paper as well okay so let's get started with our first card we'll start out simple and uh, I'm going to use a um, oh pool party excuse me man my mind Okay, so I'm, and this is one of the papers that is in the DSP. Okay, you know I love using DSP, so it's a no-brainer that my first card is going to be using the DSP. Okay, and it just makes for such a simple card. Okay, so I am going to, because as you know, I have my phone camera in between, so it's been... It's always kind of a challenge stamping here. Okay, so one of the images that really I've really enjoyed is this snowman. So I have gone ahead and stamped and die cut the snowman and his felt top hat. I'm trying to reach for it. Uh, how come it's not? My finger is not picking it up. There we go. Okay. There we go. So 
both of these images, there is a corresponding die cut to go with it, okay? So with the, this hat, it's just so much simpler to just fussy cut it, and I think I will so that I have less of a white um, border around it. So let me go ahead and just trim it, but there we go, and round it up a little bit just to make it nicer. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and, uh, where's my glue? Okay, where's my glue? You think I am all prepared and yet I can't find my glue, which was just right here. Oh, here it is, okay. Oh, I tell you, messy, messy, messy. So I'm gonna dab a little bit of this glue here so that my snowman will be wearing a hat, okay? And I'm going to tilt it just a little bit just for a little whimsy look, okay? So the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to um, set up a base for my snowman to sit on. And I am going to do, let me show you what I'm going to do. So I am using the double-sided um, cardstock. So that way you have the darkest shade of pool party and the lighter shade of pool party. I'm using the darker shade. And what I'm going to do is I wanted it the snowman to be on a bank of snow. And the best way I think that can give you that look is tearing it, right? So it gives it that, it's just a, a touch, right? So you see, right? And what I'm gonna do is I am going to die cut a circle. So, let me bring out my cut and emboss machine because I want to show you kind of a neat trick about these, um, about the dies. Because once you die cut it, it kind of sticks together. And I'll show you what I mean. So I have this, and I am going to do a circle, okay? So let me go ahead and run this through. Okay. You'll see what I mean. Oh, sorry. Sandwich this in. Okay, there we go. Here it comes. So for those of you who are joining me, please be sure to leave a comment below to let me know that you are here. Okay. So because this has these um, dots, right, it kind of sticks together. So it automatically stays put. So then the next thing I want to do is I wanted to put some snow flakes on it. And there is a snowflake stamp in this set. So I'm also using Pull Party. And okay. Okay, I think I might want to. Let me see, where is that? Um, I'm going, I wanted to, oh, I think that's fine. Okay, I am fine. I think maybe I'll just put a little bit more here. Just to kind of fill up the spots. Okay, so I think that's good. And then I'm going to bring my snowman back. And I'm going to slip it right in there, okay? Oh, before I do that, my little snowman needs his carrot nose. So I'm just using one of our watercolor pencils. You know, you don't need to use the watercolor pencil for watercoloring. You can just use it as a coloring pencil, okay? So my little snowman is so cute. 
and I am going to go ahead and slip it into this pocket here, right? And just for safety, I am going to go ahead and glue this, okay? So it's gonna fall right in here. There we go. So there, so my snowman is on a bank of snow. And so with that, I am going to glue this on here, right? And then I'm gonna bring the greeting out. I am going to do season's greetings, right? So I am going to, let's see, bring it over here. Yep, I think that should be good. Okay. And I think once I get that set, hey, there we go. Okay. So I am going to put it right around here. And just for fun, I'm going to embellish it further with some snowflakes that I've die cut. There are there is a snowflake that's included in um, this set, this die set. So I am going to glue this on. Just need a dab of this. Yep. Hey, might be a little too much. Don't need a lot. I really should have used my adhesive sheets, but I wasn't thinking when I was planning this out. And I'm going to move this right here. Okay. And I am going to. I have a white one here. See, I'm not really, I don't need to put glue on everything, right? Oh, where should I put this? I think we can put this, oh, where do I wanna put it? Oh, I think we can put it right here. Okay, Oy. Okay, and my last one, I am going to put it down on the corner there. So, so far so good, right? I mean, it comes together pretty quickly and easily. Let's see, I think I'm gonna put this right around here. And so there's our first card, okay? Quick and easy, that is my aim, right? I always like quick and easy cards. So as you have seen, this paper has a lot of snow globe, snow globe images. And of course, the dies that are included also has, where's my stamp set? Oh, here it is. It also has a die for the globes, right? There's a big round globe and the um, smaller globe, right? So, Let's do a shaker card. I mean, it's just begging for a shaker card. I mean, so let's get started. So I went ahead and chose this particular snow globe to start my project today. And before I use that, I am going to use this die and cut out the stand, the base of the snow globe. So let me go ahead and do this bring my cut emboss machine out again okay and I am going to cut it out and you will see it come out on the other side I don't know how I can survive without a cut and emboss machine I think every project that I do I always am using it right so there we go it's quite simple right okay so i think we are done with the cut and emboss machine for today okay let me put this away so i am going to save this on the 
on the side, okay? So I'm going to start with this. And, <clears throat> excuse me. So what I'm going to do is, <clears throat> I've already cut out, this is a glittery sheet of um, paper. I just think it's perfect for this kind of a snowy scene, right? So I cut out, using the die, the glass part, right? And then what I need to do, for those of you who are not familiar with shaker cards, is then I've used a window sheet and I'm going to adhere it to the back, okay? So how I'm gonna do that is just, um, you know what, I think I'm going to use this. This way I know it will stick. This is the um, tear and tape. I use this um, especially for a lot of the 3D projects because I know it will um, stay adhered. Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I mean, actually, shaker cards are a lot of fun to do and it's really not that hard Okay, I just want to make sure that we'll fix that. Okay, so then, please. There we go. So, tearing, getting the tearing tape out, and I am, where did my where did my window sheet go? Oh, there it is. See, it's almost invisible. I cannot see. And I'm going to adhere it over the opening. Okay. See? So now we're starting to have the window. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to place this image in the back. Okay. But I want to make sure it is aligned perfectly. So what I'm going to do is I am going to do this. So I want to make sure where I want it to be. Okay. And I'm going to align it so I know it will be perfect. Okay. So I got that. Okay, so I know when I add this on here, it will be perfectly aligned. So when I do shaker cards, I always like to glue a few of the little doodads on here because there's nothing more um, boring than something, it's, you know, totally blank. I like to still keep some on top, so that's what I'm going to do. I don't know if I've explained that right, but you'll see what I mean. Okay, so... This is also one of the fun things we've got is these um, snowflakes. So I am going to put one here. Okay. So I'm going to glue one there so that I know that there will always be some snowflakes showing, even if all of the snowflakes are on the bottom. Okay, that. Um, I think I'm gonna put one like right up here, maybe. This is a small one, so we'll see. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to leave that there to um, stay adhered, right? And let's work on the other part. Okay, so that's the first part. So then we're coming back here, and what we're going to do is we are going to create the well to hold all the glitters, right? So we're going to turn this around and bring out our foam adhesive strips. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? So I know I'm going to do this right here. 
it looks like a lot of work, but it really isn't. Okay, so we're just gonna make sure that there's no opening for the doodads to escape. See, I like how it also allows you to bend, right? Oh, I think I can take this whole thing out. Ta-da! Okay, we want to make sure no snowflake's going to escape, so I think we need a little piece there. Okay, I think that should work. And we're going to go ahead and put some snowflakes in here. Okay, I think that should be enough, right? Oh, the more the merrier, right? So I'm going to go ahead and take all the, just release out. Okay, so we are ready now. So I already aligned this so I know it's going to fit okay. Let's see. Keeping my fingers crossed. Because you know how going live is. You never know what's going on. Ta-da! There we go. See? This is what I meant by I always like having some glued on here. Because that way you always have something still left there. Because otherwise everything is on the bottom. That's kind of boring, right? So here's the making of the shaker globe, right? Okay, so I'm going to bring this back. Okay, and I'm going to glue it on here. Let's see, I think, what should I do? I think I'll use this one. I'm trying to think which one would give me the more permanent adhesion, and I think this will. So then we're going to line this up here. And there we have it. So let me bring out the base. Okay, so we're going to mount this on here. Okay. And of course, we need a sentiment, don't we? So, I couldn't decide which one to use. This one or this one? What do you guys think? Hmm. Can't quite tell which one I want. Hmm. Maybe this will work. Yeah, I think I like this better. Okay, so we're gonna go with that. I hope that's the one that you also chose. So I'm gonna put it right here. And there you have it. That is our second card. It's a shaker card, okay? Of course, you know, you'll put the greetings in the back, but so far so good, right? So we've got two cards now. And so the third project I wanna share with you is a party favor. Something about Christmas season, the holiday season that makes me, you know, wanna do more party favors. You know, I'm always looking for it. And so today's party favor is also from one of our um, European demonstrators. Um, I actually saw saw it from um, what's her name, Bridget Kiling. Again, I hope I'm not murdering her name. Um, but then I, apparently she also um, got inspired by another demonstrator called Linda Parker. So as you can see, it's such a sharing community that we're in. So this is what I wanted to show you. Okay, it's an um, party favor that you can hang on the tree. Isn't that cute? 
So let me show you how it's done. It's actually pretty easy to make. Okay, so what you need is, of course, our trimmer. Our trimmer is the best. It makes it so easy to create um, these 3D ornaments, right? So you're going to start with a 6 by 6 piece of paper. I mean, that's perfect, right? 6 by 6. We all have 6 by 6 papers. And so you are going to score. The first one is 1 and 3 8 inch. So 1 and 3 8. So 1, 2, 3. 1 and 3 8. And then 2 and 3 quarters. Four and an eighth, and five and a half. All right, so after that, you are going to score this way. Um, we are going to do there, like that. Okay, so five eighths. Well, actually, I can do it that right here. Five eighths. So one, two, three, four, five eighths. There we go. Five eighths and two inches. Okay, and we're done. So let me put this away. So. Oh, there. Can you see the score lines now? Okay. All right. So what we're going to do now is, let me just make sure I've got the orientation right. Oh, here we go. So there. There. I think that's it. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to cut into these. So with this one, we're going to cut this whole piece off. Okay. And so what we're going to do is we are going to keep this as is, and we're going to slice this off. So we're going to keep half of that. So it's not very precise. So just eyeball it, half of it, cut it up like that. Okay, so that's it. So that's the flap to the bottom, actually. Okay. So there we go. I should have used a, I think a darker color maybe. Okay, so this is how it will look. And uh, then you're going to start folding, burnishing these score lines. Okay. And then you're gonna go ahead and glue this Okay, so I'm looking for my tear and tape. Oh, I think I might probably want a little bit more there. There, okay. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and adhere that and after we've adhered that we are going to do some more scoring I guess I need my trimmer again so this time we're going to get a pencil out and we want to do one and a half one and a half here one and a half Again, it's just eyeball it, right? Okay. So we've got one and a half, one and a half. So I just want to make sure that we see it. And so with the seam, now that's the seam here facing you. That's when we are going to do some more scoring. Okay. So we are going to score from here to here. So this is there, I'm going to pivot it right there. There we go. 
So we're gonna score that. Now you're going through two, two sheets, right? So you can go ahead and make it a little bit stronger. So then we're gonna use this over here. So do, 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 there we go. Okay. So you see the X here? We're gonna cut this piece off. And there we have it. So you see, so we might want to use the corner rounder and um, just make it prettier. Oops. Okay. Yep. So we're going to... Now there's two ways to open up this box is whether you have your recipient open from the bottom or on the top. It's totally, you know, flexible. So actually, let me go ahead and erase this. Okay. So, but no. All right. Okay. So, I'm going to go ahead and put this in here. Now, before I close this, I wanted to share with you what fits in here. I probably need to trim this just a little bit more. Okay. Let's see. There we go. That fits much better now. Okay. So before I close it, I wanted to share with you what fits in there. So I had hoped, because I have these Kit Kat Santas, I had hoped that this would fit, but it doesn't. It's a very tight fit. I think you might be able to. Let me just reinforce that again. Yeah, it's just a tad too thick. So basically, you are, you can use Kit Kats, which is our old standby. And isn't it nice that the Christmas um, Kit Kat color is so close to the pool party color, right? So we can really make it a your treats to match this, right? So you can put two in there, no problem, okay? And I've noticed that you could probably even put Andy's mints in here too. So, or you could roll up some cash and it could be a cash gift too. Okay, so we're going to fold this down to make the opening, right? And there you go. So that's the basic structure of your treat box, right? So I usually like to have the flap that's the back, right? This will be the top, right? So I am going to bring out my hole punch, right? Because we're gonna string a ribbon in there. And again, I'm not much of a precise stamper, so I'm just gonna eyeball maybe halfway through here. Ooh, what happened there? So there's one hole. And this one, in case they wanted to open it from here, I'm going to go ahead and do a half circle here as a thumb opening, right? Is that how you call it, a thumb opening, right? Okay, so now I wanna do the other hole. So I'm just gonna use a pencil, okay. And there you go. So that is how this is made, okay. So for the greeting, oops, where did my greeting go? So this is the greeting, and I like to use the um, bone folder to kind of give it some movement, right? So that's what I'm doing. Okay, that way it just lays nicer, right? And then I'm just going to add a snowflake on there. So wasn't that easy, quick, and I mean, I don't think it's quick, but at least it's simple, right? 
So let me show you what other things I've done. So this particular one is using the other DSP and it says love from my home to yours. And this is from the Peaceful Season stamp set. I just love this greeting. So I think it's appropriate since it's a home, right? These are our houses. So this is the red. Or you can make a whole bunch of these in a solid card stock. And then when you have the need, the occasion, then you just wrap a piece of the appropriate designer series paper around it. And that's equally great, right? It's nothing, you know, a lot of times, you know, when you're making these things, you might as well make a bunch more. So this is what um, I would recommend or that's what I'm doing is I'm making a whole bunch of these in the cardstock in different colors. So when I need it, all I need to do is just wrap a piece of pretty design series paper around it and that way it's decorated. Okay. So there we have it. So these are today's projects and I hope you've enjoyed that and that you will give it a try. So let me bring these out again. So these are the projects for today. All right. Well, thank you very much for joining me and watching. And uh, I hope you've enjoyed these projects. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. I am more than happy to help. Um, and happy Thanksgiving to all of us who are in the U.S. And... Um, the next time I see you, it will be December. Wow, it just seems so amazing that it is the end of the year practically. All right. Okay, thank you again and um, have a great week. Bye-bye.